Don't drink soda. It also can be used as short for spectacles, which I... But there's no K in the word spectacles. No, there isn't. But maybe in oldie English, like in the oldie way, <laughs> you think would they sounds... say O-L-D-E? I, it could be. I mean, with, you know, we, we weren't there. Spectaculars, they call them. Because it was like, you put it on, you could see it's spectacular. Mm. That's where the That's where it came from. We're getting ahead of ourselves, all yeah. right? Uh, welcome to the Natural Habitat Podcast. My name is Mikey Booya. I'm awesome, Ty. We are, uh, this episode's brought to you by Reliefy.com. Use the code NHP to save 12%. Um, computer's here. Free candy is here. Uh, Jerry is here. Jerry's not here. Wait, Jerry's, Jerry's not, not here? here this week. Jerry's not here? Did you not hear? No. Wait, he's not, did I not hear? Did you not hear that Jerry's I'm here. not here? Did you not hear... No, I'm here. In your ears. Okay. That Jerry is not here, as in present. Wait, there's garlic knots here? Where? <laughs> Jerry, bring in the garlic knots. There's no... Jerry's there's no, not here? You know Jerry's not going to bring us garlic knots, even <laughs> if he was here. Yeah, he definitely wouldn't. Um, where did he go? Jerry, I've been told, is headed to like Maryland or something to audition for... Um, um, Tucker Carlson was canceled, right? Yeah. Oh, Recently, yeah, yeah. News, news, um, personality Tucker Carlson was canceled just the other day. The Jerry, great termination. Jerry has convinced himself that he is going to audition to be Tucker Carlson's on air replacement. Are they doing it like, and like an American ha- Idol type I, thing? No. Where you can go wait no, in the hallway and no, audition? No, I think, I think D- Jerry's just like, he's, he's going there on a wing and a prayer, just hoping to, you know, impress the right person, you know, talk his way, slick talk his way into the building. Mm-hmm. You know, he gets to, the, he gets to the receptionist, right? Yeah. You've got to figure there, this is Fox, big, big establishment. There's some security guards right there and you're not probably getting past you reception. Think there's security guards flanking yeah. the receptionist. Yeah. I think there's probably, yeah. I, before you get to the receptionist, I'm thinking like you've got some security check, right? Yeah. Jerry's got to pass through that. You know, he'll, he'll do that, you know, talk his way through there. I think no problem. I think reception might be where, where he runs into the trouble. And that's going to depend on like, you know, very much on the receptionist working yeah. more so than Jerry. It's really a roll of the dice. I mean, what, what yeah. he's going to get if he's going to make it through. But, you know, let's say for shits and giggles that he does, you know, he gets up to the, the, third floor um and he's he's able to get himself in front of any anyone with any sort of stroke you know that would be in a producer an executive a president or whatever rupert <laughs> is it rupert murdoch that owns fox yeah yeah i mean i think jerry would <coughs> i mean he'd, he'd need like nothing like, nothing short of a miracle you think he'd be able to butter up rupert murdoch if no, given the chance no absolutely not yeah i don't think so either no he's not that likable but um, that explains why I had this list uh, sent to me. He emailed us a list. Oh, I didn't get that. I just got, you know, I just got the email. You didn't email. get the list? No, I just got the email that he's Wait, he's so headed out you to. got the email about him leaving. I got the email with the list. Yes. And we're just supposed to, like, share that information with each other, I guess? Uh, apparently. Just assume that we know that we both didn't get the... All right. Um, but either way, he, he provided us with uh, some show notes for today, which we're going to get into yeah. later. But before we do that, uh, we want to extend some apologies. All right. Uh, first off, I personally would like to apologize for the inconsistencies in the show lately. All right. We used to drop every Tuesday. Drop day, it's, it's sporadic, you know, and I could blame it on the, the new software I'm using. I could blame, blame it, it on, on Jerry easily. Blame it on Jerry. But uh, I always would, like, uh, pride myself in the consistency of the show. And every week there was a show no matter what. And recently I have been dropping the ball. And I'm sorry to people that are out there. They listen to the show. They watch the show that uh, expect it and get excited for it on a certain day. I mean, there's there's one or two out there. For yeah, sure. there's one or two out there at least. And, you know, I uh, I'm already fascinated that people would look forward to the show. I know, right? (laughs) And not just have it be a thing that they listen to when there's nothing else to listen to. But... um, I mean, I listen to some weird, like, random (coughs) shit that 
Yeah. You know, it's it's hard for me to picture anybody wanting to watch myself, but there's also people mm -hmm. who are far more, you know, just offbeat than I am. Yeah, yeah. That, that I watch on a regular basis. So, you sure. know what? Like to each his own as they say. And consistency or to is to each their uh, own. I'm not I'm not assuming anything about any of our yeah, viewers. To their own. Their own. But consistency is uh is always one of the best things when you're getting content and we haven't been providing that lately. And, you know, I want to apologize. I want to talk about it, bring it out. Maybe, uh, maybe, you know, push myself to get back to my rigorous schedule, staying on top of it, dropping uploads every Tuesday. Uh, so I'm sorry for that. I, I, accept, that, I accept your apology on Thank behalf. You. You because know, it I, also I, it, it also does reflect on you because you're co-host of the show. Yeah, and you are that's kind of like out of your hands. The editing I do the editing, so it kind of drops whenever I drop it. And if you you know want to tell someone, yeah, we got a new podcast, new episode comes out on Tuesday. It was a good one. Then it doesn't come out, and then by then, by the time it comes out on Wednesday or Thursday, they already forgot. It's gone. They're on to the next thing. So I also do apologize to you. Well, I, I accept your apology, man. I appreciate that. Thank yeah. you. Uh, you know, I apologize for... Um, <laughs> no, you don't I, have to I apologize. I haven't <laughs> posted the podcast that much recently on my social. Yeah, you should do that more. You should do that more. Um, I accept your apology. All right, thank you. Also, we would both like to apologize for confusing some viewers out there. Some people that have been viewing our content on YouTube, they get the idea that uh, that this is a serious thing. Yeah, we're mostly doing bits. <laughs> yeah, mean, like very few of the things that we talk about are reflect at least you know our true opinions mm -hmm. or our our. I mean, it's just kind of like a. I, I don't know. It's it's like an improv. We've like we've created yeah. a canon. Yeah, you know? yeah. We've got yeah. we've got a little universe going, <laughs> and I mean it's. You, I, I I wouldn't think that anybody would be fooled or duped by it, but you know, you I know, think most you people never, get it. Yeah, I but think, then there's a huge portion of people on YouTube that only watch the most popular sections of videos. You know how you got like the little graph? Yeah, they only they watch a video, they go to the popular p part, they leave, and they don't get the full context. They don't get it. Yeah. So um, a lot of people have been getting confused, have been getting upset. They go, that's not how you feed a fish. That's not fire burns at 865 degrees. Yeah, a lot of these, these um, well, actually motherfuckers mm -hmm. that just love to interject and correct somebody. Well, you know what? We were joking. It was mostly <laughs> all, all lies. So you know what? Like... You can take your <laughs> you can take your interjection. You can shove it up your ass because yeah. our bit is going over over your head, which is, is sad. It was a it's goof. super sad if that's true. And if we have to keep doing our here, we'll do this. This is a comedy podcast and does not reflect the actual opinions of anyone involved. It's a performance. That's why we smoke inside. You can't smoke inside unless it's a performance, which this is. There may be moments that imitate actual opinions and thoughts, but everything is a goof. We sometimes say things that seem offensive, but we promise they aren't. Remember that we're smoking indoors, so this is a performance and definitely not anything else. Please enjoy responsibly. So California law, you know, you are allowed to smoke inside only if it is performance based. And your performance that you're doing, whichever performance it is, relies on you smoking. Sure. I mean, you know, um, you're shooting a movie, let's say, and, yeah. you know, a movie in the 1950s in a diner. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, half of the characters, if not more, should be smoking cigarettes rigorously. Yeah, it's you the know, 50s. And, I mean, you can't, you can't historically leave that out because of, of these, these ridiculous smoking laws that mm -hmm. we have. So, of course, there's a loophole for performance-based yeah. stuff. Is that the gist of it? Yeah, and every, every, uh, every jokester, every, I mean, I don't want to call us trolls, but every troll, every... I'm not a troll. Well, that's why I said I don't want to call us yeah, trolls. Okay. But every troll, which is a separate thing than what we are and what we're doing, <clears throat> they, they give you an out. They give you... You know, we're smoking inside, so this has to be a performance because you're not allowed to smoke inside if it's not. And that is your tell that this is a goof. This is a, this is a fake thing. This is not our opinions. So we just want to clear things up. Like, um, we've had a lot of beefs with people throughout the years. You know, a lot of people that we brought up called out by name. A lot of conflict has gone on for a lot sure. Of conflict. We've, we've, 
maybe ruffled a few feathers, would you say? Absolutely. We have. Uh, Pastor Tony Spell famously oh, he, said yeah, he was going to cut my head. He did. He did say that. Yeah. Um, not that Steve Martin. Yeah, the my my former rival in the mayoral race back in 2018. Mm-hmm. Um, Current and failing mayor. Yeah, yeah, Robles, he did California. win that election, but he is not doing well in the court of public opinion right now. Mm-hmm. And um, you know, I'm sure he got wind the the things that I was saying back, uh, you know, about him back just four years ago or yeah. whatever. And now you've got it's become the talk of our town that I mean, Steve Martin's not doing his job, and it's like you know, I hate to say I told you so. But I told you so. Yeah. Like, and if you Google Steve Martin Paso Robles, you get a bunch of clips from the show. You get a bunch of clips of awesome ties running for mayor. Do you? Is that is that yeah? True. Those things start showing up. Oh, now. that's amazing. Um, so all of these beefs, most of these beefs that we have with people, they're real. These beefs are, you know, they're valid. They continue when we stop recording the show. We say, Fuck these are not, that yeah, guy. these aren't beef, uh, bits. They're not yeah. bits. We don't biff, we don't bit biff, beefs. Biff. Yeah, oh. we don't biff. We don't, okay. which is a bit about beef. Okay. Okay. I like that. Yeah. We don't biff because if you biff, then you risk the other person taking it a, the wrong way. And then they get upset and they retaliate on you somehow. And you go, Oh, I was joking, man. It was a bit. So we don't even want to take that chance. All of our biffs are non-existent because they're yeah, If we say we have a problem with you, you can bet that we're coming <coughs> mm-hmm. for you. And that's that's And that's canon. Yeah, that's, that's canon. Go back, find anything. Find any clip of us having a problem with anyone. I stand by that problem. So, I mean, I'm just going to say right now, it would be unwise for any of you to come and start one. Mm-hmm. So, you know, um, sound off below, but keep it, you know, relatively positive because... I mean, you don't want to. You don't want no biff. You don't want no biff. Um, now we did have a whole arc recently with uh, our beef with Dollar Tree, which started off as a sponsorship with Dollar Tree. Yeah, I mean that wasn't a sponsorship. If we're being real here, like no. we, we were, we were never sponsored by Dollar Tree. Never. We were just saying, you know, it would be funny if we said we were sponsored by Dollar Tree, but it was not true. Mm-hmm. They never paid us a cent. In fact, if anything, we, we had no they, communication. We gave them a tremendous amount of our <coughs> yeah, money. So we really did. It's like a and, reverse sponsorship and free promotion. So we gave them literal money by buying these products that we said that were donated by Dollar Tree. They weren't. Uh, we had no correspondence with anyone at Dollar Tree except for that one time. Yeah, yeah, one time we were actually kicked out of a Dollar Tree for <laughs> for filming in there. So, I mean, if anything, we have a rocky relationship with Dollar Tree management, and I'm yeah. sure that extends all the way up to the you know CEO. Mm-hmm. I'm sure that there's got to be a picture of us from the security camera, like how they yeah. have pictures of people running out with beer. So maybe like um, an employee, and you can't even imagine that that lady still works there. Absolutely not. So, hmm. you know, their turnover is not, no. no. Yeah, yeah true. That was years ago. So, I mean, really, there's probably nobody that would personally um, have anything ill to say about us at Dollar Tree. But. Yeah, we would hope. But we don't know because we never talked to them. Uh, we never got a cease and desist from them. None of that ever happened. We made that up for the show. It yeah, was like it was uh, a bit. It was a bit. And... That became canon, but it was like fake canon, and we shouldn't have to like explain that to people. Shouldn't have to like people are like, "Oh, you're sponsored by Dollar Tree? What the fuck is this?" It's like, dude, it's a nobody. Dollar Tree doesn't sponsor podcasts, you know. No, definitely not this one. If anything, yeah, if they do, it's not this one. Completely, you know, irrelevant, and I mean, we're not. Um, and then speaking of us getting kicked out of Dollar Tree, that. You can see that in Awesome Ties running for mayor. And that whole running for mayor thing that happened was not a bit. You actually were running for mayor. Yeah. I you mean, were in a parade. For the most part, yeah. I mean, I technically did, yes. <clears throat> mm-hmm. You got the required paperwork. You put in your name and had everything. I campaigned, that's for campaigned. sure. Campaigned. You hella campaigned. And I, that was I all. I put in the work. I put in the groundwork. That was all documented. And none of those people... All the way down to that bum that climbed the bushes for forty five seconds by that uh yeah. by the wagon. Yep. Uh none of those people were actors. That was real life. Those are real Paso Roblins with real problems. Captured in a satirical comical way with you being the only person that it was like Eric Andre, how he's like pranking the world, you know. Like you were the only one in on it. I guess, yeah. You and everybody could, else was could frame it that way for sure. Yeah. Um, 
so that was real. Uh, we've been getting a lot of comments about Jerry. People think Jerry's not real. Jerry's real. Jerry's yeah. Jerry. Unfortunately, unfortunately, <laughs> unfortunately, Jerry is very real. Um, he's been here. I mean, for a long time since the get go. No, since the get go. Yeah. Uh, so have you? Actually, I was going back to like uh <clears throat> to the early. Episodes. I make appearances in relatively early episodes. Yeah. Yeah. I want to say like nineteen. Yeah. We we determined on the on the anniversary special when I it was my first episode. Yeah. I want to say it was in the the teens. <clears throat> yes. Nineteen twenty three. Also, I want to say or. Yep. And then it, yeah. you know, kind of sporadically from there, and then. Yep. Ever since what would I got at least a, like a year and a half now? Yeah, yeah, and uh, it's it's like a leak, like how a leak will like spring up, which was you know those first few in the first couple hundo, then you like tighten it up, and then everything's cool, but eventually that pipe's gonna burst. It's gonna spring you know? loose, and then all of a sudden, boom, 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 uh, here and there, more and more. You're calling the plumber. You're arguing with him. He's giving you the runaround. Yeah. You're getting uh, back backed up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta and get- uh, that's good too because you're like uh, you're like since we bounce things off of each other, we're like backing each other up. Yeah. So you get backed up. You get back up. Back up. Uh, and here you are. And why are we talking about that? Remember that when you were a kid, that was a thing. Like if if somebody was threatening you, you would be like, "Hey, man, back don't, up." Don't mess- <laughs> no, you, you you would threaten to go get back up. Oh yeah, you would threaten to go get back up. Like that was like a key phrase. I'll go. I'll go, I'll go get, get my back up. You it's don't like, want nothing. Like yeah, you you got me here alone, three on one. But I got homies. So you're you gonna know. leave. You're gonna go all the way across town on your bike. You're yeah. gonna go and yeah, because you, you didn't have friends. cell phones here. You couldn't just text your yeah. call your your homie. You gotta find different friends from different houses. Go find them at the no. Park basically, and shit. You, you, so what you're doing is you're convincing the opposing side that the your homies are so badass that the the fear of retro retaliation from them, you know, later retribution yeah. is is so great that they're willing to not beat you up at the, in the present. And See, I thought that you were trying to get a chance to go and get your homies so that you could just leave and never come back. Maybe pack a bag. I mean, that might have been the move. Get out of but town. Still, you know, you, you don't want them to know that. You want them to have some sort of fear of retaliation. Do you describe so. the homies, do you think? Would be a good idea? I mean, no. No. I, you know, like like the ideal homies for that situation or the homies that I had? Well, no. Like, like say, this hypothetical kid, if you're like, hey, don't make me go get my homies. Like, I, yeah, I see him. I picture him. Do you think that that kid should describe the homies to the bully? Or do you think that he should kind of leave it all mystery in his head? Oh, man. Yeah. See, I'm, I'm not saying this is going to work for the kid. You know what I mean? Like, I'm thinking that this is just going to fail miserably for him, typically. And this also isn't applicable now. This will only be for so kids I'm, that are listening I'm thinking that the opposing, the, the opposing kids are going to not take this threat very seriously. It doesn't sound like a, a credible threat, you know, no. that's going to scare anybody. But still, it was something that was said. Yeah. I'll get my backup. I'm going to go get my backup. Yeah, I remember when people used to say that. Uh, so Jerry is real. Um, we also, whenever we say that someone is a friend of the show, that's, we made that up. Oh, None yeah. of these people, they're not a friend of the show. I mean, uh, very few. Very like, few. Free Candy is a friend of the show. He's real, but. Yeah. Um, do we have any others? Uh, <laughs> most people that are friends of the show are just, uh, people that we, you know, paid to do a cameo for us. Or we played a video of them out of context. Like maybe they did an interview with someone else and we would just kind of play a video of their side of yeah. the interview. While if we you're, if the you're watching this and you consider yourself a friend of the show, sound off below and let us know. We could use the the, yeah. the kind words. Yeah. Because, um, you know, a lot of these friends of the show. We, are we all up. need friends. And then Roach Clip, who was a former friend of the show, now enemy of the show. Yeah, I'd say he so. He did us dirty. So. And I don't even remember what it is, but I remember it was he's, bad. He's jealous is what he is. He's jealous that he doesn't have <laughs> nothing, cool, nothing cool like this. You know, he he has to make all of his jokes in like um, Facebook Messenger. Yeah, in a vacuum. He doesn't get, you know, the, the dozens of, of views that we get. So. Yeah. So uh, he's not a friend of the show anymore. Hmm. Matt Matt said he was going to come back and do a podcast. And he he's just never a big came liar. back. He's, he's a big liar. liar. He doesn't. He doesn't. You know, follow up on anything he says. He's liar, liar, do. pants on fire. Would you say because? Oh, absolutely, of the absolutely. Thing? Yes, yeah. yeah, that's good. Yeah. Um. So, friend of the show, they're not real. Maybe it's you. Maybe you're the new friend of the show, 
and you can uh, you can buy merch. You can go to relief.com. You can subscribe. You could hit the bell. You can sound off. You can donate, uh, you know, astronomical amounts of money. And would you say that it's friend or foe? So that if they don't consider themselves friends, they're considered foes, which yeah, is, there's again, no middle ground. You know, go back to the, the biffing, mm-hmm. which you, you don't want none yeah, of. What waving that thing at me? <laughs> Uh, yeah, there is no middle ground. Once you find out about us, you have to pick a side. You have to either be our sworn enemy yep. who we will constantly, um, harass. Well, intimidate, is that a intimidate. We're going to threaten them with backup. Yeah. Uh, allegedly we're going to do this. And this is also part of the theater. So this isn't actually going to happen, but we're going to break into their homes. Okay. We're gonna, with, with backup. With backup, we we're going to backup. bring our backup. We're breaking in. We're going to take uh, all of their furniture. We're going to move it around a little bit. You know, we're going to take their clock and move it over so a foot. So playing mind games, yeah. intimidation. We're going to switch out the forks and the spoons in their silverware tray. We're going to take the oven. We're going to put it where the dishwasher is, vice versa. And that's going to take some heavy lifting. We're, yeah. That's the kind of, you know, commitment we we're making right here and now. We're to, also going to have to rebuild the like and ducting and stuff. Why are we doing this again? Cause they're, they're foes of the show. Yeah. They're foes so of the yeah. show. That's what we do to enemies. And then we're going to install a speaker system like fish tank. And that way we can say things to them. We could yell at them. We can. So we've, you know, we're definitely in the criminal, criminal territory here. We've committed at this point um, mm-hmm. a number of felonies, certainly at least breaking and entering and some sort of assault. Yep. And scene. All right. Thank you. Thank you for being there for that. Yeah. See, that was all a bit. That was all, all a bit. bit. We're not going to do any of that. Yeah. So hopefully we cleared it up for people that are out here uh, trying to enjoy the show, trying to understand what's going on. I know you came in, if you came in late, if you just recently started watching, you have no idea what's going on. You yeah, don't know who Jerry you, is. I mean, you're probably not going to want to start just by the, the first episode. You know what I mean? I think, yeah. um, w- when do you think is a good hopping in point for the show? What I would do is I would listen to uh, the earliest episode you can. I want to say like the first like 15 are lost in the, in the, in the algorithm oh, somewhere. This is lost media. <clears throat> lost. And... So the feed actually starts at like 13 or 14 or something and listen to some of those early ones. Then I would hit, you know, a hundo. I would hit, uh, I would hit. Maybe just check in every 100 episodes and kind of see how things have progressed yeah, until you find two hundo until you find some two fifty. You start getting a little bit of this, this cannon that uh-huh. we've built. Then I would hit three Oh five. Then I would hit definitely episode 420. You're going to want to hit episode 666. You're going to want to... 700? Like 700. All these main numbers, you know? The big ones. The big big ones. You're going to want to hit those breaking off points where if like if the show's uh, history was like a candy bar, like a Hershey bar, you got a break point that you could snap a little tiny mini candy bar off. Yeah. It's not quite... A season, because we're in season four. It's it's like an act. Is it season like three? One, what season are two. we in right now? Oh gosh, I couldn't tell you. I think it's like four or five, right? We had some very short seasons. Four. Like I, I think we went from three to four, yeah, possibly to there five. Was only like the eight or nine a, episodes like in between, or one. <laughs> yeah, we just possibly weren't feeling one. the season. So I, I think mean, it's season four. So we're in season four. Um. But we got these nice breakoff points, these hundos. So I would hit those hundos. That's when we're particularly uh, feeling ourselves. We got 700 coming up. Hey, give me a break. It's give me a, a break. Party. Break me off a piece of that Natural, Natural Habits Habit Habit podcast. podcast. Yeah, perfect. Um, so I would do those. Then I would hit, um, oh, yeah, all the interviews that we did back in the day. There's a lot of people that we interviewed. Those are all AI. We got access to the AI voice Uber Duck thing like way early. So none of those interviews are real, but is they are true? interesting. Is that is that canon or is that um? Are well, we, that's is that canon, a bit? but it's not true. It's a bit. Okay, it's a bit. But uh, yeah, those are all real interviews, and there are some good ones there. And uh, 
also you get to see the whole like history of us. Like in those early episodes, we like uh, we like sounded all goofy. We didn't know what we were doing. We were still trying to find our find our sea legs, if you will. Yeah, and uh, a secondary arc is like the the different things that I've been on. You know what I mean? Like I've had a pill problem, a drinking problem. Uh-huh. You know, I've been I've been very intoxicated on various incarnations of the program, and you know, like this is the the least I've been um, consistently. So yeah, that's kind of like something to follow: is how fucked up is Ty? Like, yeah, is, is he coherent? Mm-hmm. That is, is a good metric to like gauge, like uh, so it's, eras. It's, it's, it's of been the ups show. and downs for sure. <clears throat> yeah same there's been a whole roller coaster of my life that i put on display on this show and uh talked about like way before i talked about it with like people in my life i would just like blab about my life's uh problems and things i mean on the that's show. That, that's what a podcast is for yeah just to, to yeah. empty out your soul for the world mm-hmm. so i don't have to look at people while they hear my thing Cause that's really like the main thing. That's true, huh? You gotta watch someone's reaction to what you're saying. Yeah. No, you want to say it out into the ether and then let people hear it later. Although, if and you got, say you're joking, if you're interested, um, feel free to make a reaction video to an episode of this show and and let us, you know, see how you react to us spilling our our souls for you. Yeah. Um. So, Jerry. Uh, Jerry's real. Um, Jerry's real. He's he's gone. He's headed off to go apply for Tucker Carlson's job. No, but see, that was a since we're coming clean about everything, that was a lie. I just lied. That about was a that. lie too. Yeah. Okay, I didn't get an email from Jerry. You know, Jerry wouldn't email me. I'm yeah. the last to know anything. I don't even know if he has your email. Now that I, think I can't about imagine. It. So, <clears throat> but um, Jerry did provide us with. You know, we had a talk with him, like uh, like an old like a pow. Can you say powwow? No, probably not. Right. We had a we had a talk. We had a frank discussion with Jerry. <clears throat> yeah, we had a frank discussion with Jerry and Frank, who is our security advisor, because we didn't want things to get spicy. And then Jerry, I mean, they very crazy, well could. You know? I mean, like I, you know, I've, I've physically attacked Jerry on a number mm-hmm. of times. So, so, <laughs> so um, Jerry, you know, we told him that he's just like really been dropping the ball lately. He's been around, you know, for. Uh, as long as I can remember since the beginning of the show and he uh, used to do everything and then he kind of got to the point to where he was fucking everything up he promised us a Thanksgiving meal which he didn't provide see you can kind of tell because um, you know if Jerry was doing his job he should be mentioned almost never his name should not be coming up in the conversation or the topics or anything we talk yeah, about. So yeah. you should not be hearing about Jerry. But look at the the increase of Jerry talk that has happened mm-hmm. over the you know past couple hundred episodes. It, it kind of shows you. It corresponds with <coughs> you know as the Jerry talk goes up, <coughs> see upward tw- trends there. The the quality in Jerry's job performance mm-hmm. is you know plummeted. They've you know surpassed each yeah. other and how many times have you been watching uh tucker carlson or don lemon do the news and they start mentioning some production assistant that's behind the camera oh, God. Never, uh, never 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 on a profession it never. would be edited out anyways but yeah because they're doing their jobs they're pretty much a ghost at yeah that and point. they would be fired you know the second they fucked something up i'm sure tucker carlson has fired countless people that, that worked on his program mm-hmm and now he ironically has been fired. He has been fired. Yeah. By was he fired by the people that worked on his program? Do you think it was that kind of sweet? No, justice? I think this came straight from Rupert Murdoch, from what I understand, who's like the Fox owner. He just had enough. This man had just cost him, you know, seven hundred and fifty million dollars. <coughs> was that <coughs> something like that? Maybe uh-huh. billion. I don't know. But still, um, he said that, that's that wasn't enough. that. No, that wasn't quite enough. But um, whatever he did in the past week or so, I guess is was was what got him maxed. Yeah, I don't really know what it is he did. Computer some sort of speech. Why was Tucker Carlson fired? On April 24th. Computer, Computer vo- stop. Computer volume ten. Computer. Why was Tucker Carlson fired? On April twenty fourth, twenty twenty three, Fox News announced that it will part ways with anchor Tucker Carlson. The reason for Carlson's departure hasn't been made public, but the news comes a week after a defamation settlement by Fox News with Dominion Voting Systems on April 18th. 
Okay. Yeah. So apparently Tucker Carlson was saying uh, <clears throat> saying slanderous things about some voting system. Yeah. And uh, yeah, they, he, they he, sued. He knew they were able to prove that Tucker Carlson knowingly, you know, said, oh, this election's a fraud. When they, they found all this correspondence of Tucker Carlson saying the opposite behind the camera saying, oh, yeah, this is a bunch of bullshit. Like, why are they doing this? Like, this is this is complete nonsense. Oh, okay. And he, he went on air and knowingly spread misinformation to the viewers yeah. about the Dominion voting system. <clears throat> That's against the rules. That's against do that, the, the freedom of... Uh what is it? The freedom of journalism? The freedom of information. Is that one of our Act? rights? The right to uh, journalize? Free press? The right to free, free press. That's what I'm but thinking. No, I, I figure like that would, if anything, that would, you know, be his saving grace, the right to free press. You know what I mean? He's free to, he's free to, to be the press. Is, yeah, but he's, he's not he's an independent fit. journalist. He works for uh, Fox. Yeah. So, I mean, within their guidelines... That's like oh, the whole yeah, thing. Right. You can do whatever you want, but also you have to follow the rules. And if you want to do this, you have to follow this set of rules. And if you want to do this, then you need more rules. And you really can't do whatever you want. Like I, mean, I can't. Tucker what if I Carlson want to not pay it, it, rent? Said you know a lot of horrible horrible things that they never got him fired. You know what I mean? Like think about all this the hatred the the man spewed. I mean. But so, once they fucked with Fox's well, yeah, money, yeah, you fuck with that paper. You you fuck yeah. with the bag. You cost a you know you fumble the bag, as they say. Mm-hmm. They say that, yeah, yeah, they say that. You fumble the bag, then it's gonna cost you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so, uh, do you want to do Jerry's ideas? I mean, Jerry. Oh yeah, Jerry, Jerry left his topics. Idea, yeah, yeah. I feel like we could at least run through them. Yeah. Um. So we. Uh, we we did our talk with Jerry. He said that he's going to try to step it up. He's going to try to provide more to the show, trying to be more present. And he is right over here uh, in his booth doing his thing. And hopefully it stays, uh, you know, it stays progressively better. And we can get back to where we were before. We were like a well-oiled machine with Jerry doing all the work, us doing all the performing, he kind of would have everything ready. He would do all the editing. He would make sure that all the social media posts were done. And since I've taken over, we have been doing better on social media, but I could just train him how to do it. Easy peasy. So um, he pulled these ideas. Every good podcast uh, producer or uh, intern they provide the ideas. They provide some stories. They're like, hey, check this out. Here's something you guys can riff on. Do a biff. Um, it says, why should you quit your job? Why you should quit your job and become a hobo? <clears throat> that sounds kind of That sounds kind of all right. Like, what? Like, hobo to me like uh implies a certain type of homeless person is is hobo short for homeless bum <laughs> that's what i thought right computer. away <laughs> is hobo short for homeless bum computer what does hobo mean hobo is usually defined as a tramp or vagrant for more ask me to give you more definitions for hobo computer where did the term hobo originate According to an Alexa Answers contributor, the term hobo emerged in the American West around 1890, though its origins are hazy. Some say it was an abbreviation of homeward bound or homeless boy. Author Bill Bryson wrote boy. in 1998 Same thing. in America that it may have come from Hobo, <laughs> Bo, a railroad greeting. Okay, so, I mean, not too far off. Hobo. Homeless boy, homeless bum. I mean, really yeah. not not too different, you know? Yeah, it was really... I mean, yours was kind of just more inclusive. It included all the genders. Yeah, yeah. Instead of just boys. Although, like, homeless bum is kind of like a redundant term, you know what I mean? Oh, Say, yeah, you know, homeless the same bum. Same thing twice, but... Yeah. Um. So... What about the homeless bums? Become Quit your job and become homeless? Why would you want a, a hobo? <laughs> Is that like a real a, a real boy? article he said? I mean, I guess it's like minimalism or like living living van life. Maybe I don't. I mean, I, I don't know what commentary he expects us to have on it. I have no idea, but I think yeah, that 
I, we had an old thing that was like uh, quit school and rap, but you should definitely not quit your job and become a hobo. If you have a job, you should either work your job or find a find a better job. You need income. Baby. Yeah, you almost, need almost certainly in. you should not quit your job and become <clears throat> a hobo. That's yeah. I mean, maybe a couple of people that you know like. They're ready to go out there and live that Jack Kerouac lifestyle and just yeah. live in the woods and and. But hobo, but, what you're gonna do? You're gonna drink wine. You're gonna you're get gonna hop, bald. Hop on box cars hop and, on and box see cars. the country. You're gonna get bald on the top, but long on the sides. And you get like a, a stick with like a bindle that you make mm-hmm. out of a bandana. Yeah. All your clothes become brown, no matter what color they were before. <laughs> different shades of brown, but mm-hmm. like yeah. But brown, all different hues of brown, and you. Lose all your teeth. You find someone else's teeth. You eat like little expired, like you know, um, canned foods yeah. by a campfire. You pop a hole in the top. You put it over the fire. You pop a two holes in the side. You pour it out. You open it with a. You have a big knife, like a big I mean, like you, crocodile you, you Dundee got, knife. Well, it's getting it can, cool. It can't actually. be too nice of a knife. <clears throat> I mean, it can be big, but like it's not a cool knife. It's like a yeah. shitty, a big shitty knife. Or it could be like a like a very dull like like steak knife or yeah like this maybe like, is this is this like a bum knife. This kind of is a bum yeah, knife. That is a bum knife. <laughs> we yeah. got it from Dollar Tree. I'm pretty sure. So yeah, yeah. And you could just wrap that in a yeah, like a. They can make some sort of sheath for it. Some sort almost of looks like a sheath. prison shank. Maybe yeah. but it's no, it's a bum knife. Then you also uh, you kidnap like a kid. And Dennis the Menace, you yeah, Dennis the Menace, Dennis yeah, Dennis. you know what I'm doing. Uh, the flower it only blooms once a year. You got that whole thing. Um, so yeah, I guess be quit your job and become a hobo. If yeah, you want. is it the best one he gave you? No, there's some more. Um, the best ways to annoy your roommate. I bet he. Yeah, I bet he wrote that one. Yeah, he probably did. I mean, gosh, I don't know who Jerry's living with these days, but I mean, I can't, I can't feel very envious for them. Now, He's, you know, I mean, dude's annoying, and, and you know, if if the his decline in productivity is occurred at his workplace, I can only imagine it's followed suit in his home life. So, yeah. you know, his I'm assuming he's living in like a small, like one two bedroom apartment, whether or not he has a roommate. Mm-hmm. But you got to figure that place is just looking rough these days, real yeah. haggard. He's kind of just left, you know, let it all go. Yeah, whatever it is, it's sad, and I would be annoyed by that if I was his roommate. I don't know why you would want to annoy your roommate. Why is that something you would try to teach yourself to do with an article and seek out the skills yeah. to annoy your roommate? And like, I also feel like that that's not really going to bring in a lot of eyeballs or, or ears. You know what I mean? Nobody wants to hear that. Yeah. It's not like a, a hot topic that's going to get us YouTube views. Is that going to get us to 1K, Jerry? I mean, I guess that it would be good to know so that you know what not to do to annoy your roommate. But why not call it that? Why not call it things not to do to annoy your roommate? Why does it have to be learn how to do it? It's going to be sick. Yeah. The best ways. Uh, So, yeah, I don't want to. I mean, I would like to live uh, cordially with my roommates. That'd be great. What else you got? Uh, Why pineapple on pizza is an abomination. He put that in all caps. Abomination. That's already common knowledge. Why would we need to talk about that? That was an old meme. Nobody yeah. that happened ten years. Yeah, ago. it's like an annoying meme. Oh, like pineapple. <clears throat> mm-hmm. I mean, we all know that. We all know that that only freaks eat pineapple on pizza. But like, we don't have to like make a joke out of it constantly. Yeah, and even if we all agree that pineapple sh- shouldn't be on pizza, which I won't reveal if we do or not. But even if we I, all do, I, I do. I'll reveal that. I mean, I'll be real upfront with you about that. I think pineapple has no no purpose on pizza. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to say it should be banned for, you know, like the freaks that do want to eat that. Like, they should be able to have at it. But I'm just saying they ruins the pizza and I won't have any of it. I won't even, even if you pick it off, it still makes the cheese all sweet and gross. And it's just like, it's not for me. Okay. Um, well, I hate to do this. Hopefully, maybe just like uh, take this video, bump down the quality right now and pretend that you're 10 years ago. Get it down to 240p. And we will have this discussion, which is, I like pineapple juice on pizza. I don't like pineapple on pizza. I agree that pineapple does not go well. No, are you uh, talking? Are you pizza? talking like you actually put like actual no, pineapple no, 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 juice no. on there, no, or no, you, you no. just like the, the you... remnants of a pineapple? Oh, yeah. so if if you get a ham and pineapple pizza, 
you flick the pineapples off. It's like a sweet ham pizza. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I, it's I, good. I, oh, I no, like that. Yeah, I like it. So, uh, I mean, I guess I'm upset that he decided for me. He said, why pineapple on pizza is an abomination. Yeah, he did kind of leave lead with that. Mm-hmm. You know, you can't do that in the courtroom, Jerry. He decided where we stood on the topic. Yeah, if you get a suit like Tucker Carlson, I mm-hmm. mean, we're going to. What are we gonna do? That was just like a, a veiled threat. Okay, you know that was just a general, it was scary, general it was threatening good. statement towards Jerry. Um, the art of procrastination. What? Are, they, what are, are these like all like meme topics? I have no like, idea what. The, like, what are oh, we supposed oh, to? What are we supposed to talk about? The art of self deprecating or what's what would be the self deprecating? Self deprecating um, meme topics, Jerry. I don't like, understand. Oh, I, uh, yeah, that's dumb. The art of procrastination. How is that an art? That's... How is that a, something we could riff on? Something that's funny. That's not an art. That's oh, like... I leave everything down to the last minute and I accomplish very little and I'm lazy. I mean, yeah, like all of those things are most certainly true about me, but like that's not yeah. something I really want to share with everybody. Yeah, that doesn't make me fucking all fun and happy. Like, yeah, like I... I'm not stoked on that. You yeah. know, like... Like, I have serious depression issues that relate to my, my performance and, you know, the various things that I participate in. And Yeah, so you should never want to learn how to procrastinate yeah. and the art of it. You should try to, you know, I mean, stop like I, I, This is a serious problem. Yeah, absolutely. So I don't know if that was like a personal stab. Oh, yeah, absolutely. That was about me. Yeah? That was just about me, I feel like. <laughs> I mean, he might have been doing it to, you know, he might have threw you in there, but, like, I feel like that was that was a well, personal that's actually Shot. one of the things that we talked about was you guys not having this. I mean, like, I feel like Jerry's just as horrible to you. It's just like you, you, you keep giving him passes. Like you're going to get here. You're going to get to where I am eventually at, at some point and you're, you're going to crack and you're going to be like, let's no. you know, let's inflict bodily no. harm on this man. We just rib each other. That's it. Like we're just joshing. And uh, all the stuff that we say about each other and that he says about me, it's just goofs and gaffs. It's, it's, a, it's all fun and laughter until he fucks something up with his job or promises a, um, um, a Thanksgiving feast with all the trimmings and turns out there is no trimmings. Yeah, that is pretty fucked up. You don't promise the moon and deliver, you know, like just nothing. Uh, outer space. Cause yeah, that like works. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Okay, the last one that he gave us is worst song in the world, which w- why would we want to that is a horrible topic. That's completely subjective. Everybody has their own yeah. favorites and least favorites, Jerry. Everybody's worst song is somebody's best song. Yeah, and also there's so many horrible songs to you know yeah. to all why of us. Why would we want to talk about these Yeah, and like how do you narrow it down? Songs. There's no scientific way to come up with and the what, answer. Are we going to gonna listen to snippets of them, Jerry? And listen to little and also Jerry. Who are songs? you to talk shit about any song? Like, what great song have you ever yeah, made in your you've life? You've never made a single fucking. You're not song. a fucking musician, Jerry. You know how many songs I've put my heart and soul into? Dozens. Yeah, I mean, it's just it's it's unthoughtful, is what it is. It's we uh, maybe Jerry can go like do the Tucker Carlson thing. We could send him like on location. That would be really funny. As an actual but Again, he, he's not going to make it into the Fox building, let alone to, you know, anywhere where he could actually get an interview. So No, but I'm already fucking stressed out with him being back. Yeah. And, you know, I'm sorry. It's going poorly, I would have to say. I mean, like, I don't know if, if we're ready to where we're going you know, to cut bait, but, I mean, it's it's definitely gone poorly. This, you know, was supposed to be a successful comeback for the guy is, is just it's fizzling yeah. week but, by week. Uh, once again, I feel like we saved the show. We pulled through. We provided Oh, yeah, a we good were pretty episode. good. We yeah, were pretty solid. Was a solid episode. Solid episode, yeah. Um, so thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Naturalhabitatpodcast.com it has all of our yeah, links. Don't take us too seriously, but do do check out those links because those yeah. links are serious. And we're serious we're when serious we say you need to um, fire off the like button mm-hmm. and subscribe. And... and and the uh, the buttons on the on the website are serious. Yeah, yeah, those are those are real deal buttons. They're gonna yeah. they're gonna do what they say they're gonna do. Mm-hmm. These um, aren't these aren't Dominion Dominion voting machine buttons. No, no, <laughs> I allegedly, can't say that. Allegedly, I can't say that. allegedly. All right, we love you guys. Bye.